हेलो माय डियर जोग्राफर्स आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग वेल सो वंस अगेन वेलकम बैक टू योर जोग्राफी क्लास इन दिस क्लास आई एम गोइंग टू टीच यू द न्यू चैप्टर ऑफ क्लास नाइन दैट इज इंसोलेशन दो दिस चैप्टर इज लिटिल बिट ट्रिकी बट आई एम श्योर इफ यू विल लर्न इट प्रॉपरली देन फ्रॉम हियर यू कैन स्कोर रियली वेल सो अगेन आफ्टर दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू पुट सम इंटरेस्टिंग क्वेश्चन एंड आई होप यू ऑल विल ट्राई टू अटेंड दिस सो हियर अगेन आई हैव डिवाइडेड दिस चैप्टर इन टू मेनी पार्ट्स एंड इन दिस क्लास I am going to discuss the definition of solar radiation and the different types of solar radiation. So, without any further delay, let's move on to the main topic. Now, what is solar radiation? We all know the sun continuously radiates the heat and light in all the directions, right? So, this is known as solar radiation. Here, the meaning radiates means gives. Sun gives the heat and light in all the direction. That is known as solar radiation. so the process by taking the heat from the sun and again giving the heat to the space it is really so complex in nature okay and this involves transmission storage and transport of energy the energy transmission it generally is in the form of solar radiation and here the processes like storage and the transport of heat this generally occur in lithosphere atmosphere and hydrosphere as we all know the solar radiation is one and only the primary source of the all the living organisms and the non living organisms of the earth right so here this solar radiation it generally forms or it is composed of three different parts what are they number one it is white light or the visible light that we can see number two it is infrared number three it is ultraviolet so from here another important question can come so like what is the composition of solar radiation <clears throat> along with this the solar radiation also the sun also radiates some important atomic particles from its body these atomic particles are generally charged electrons charged electrons means they are uh, minus or they are negative ions okay and this negative ions they also affect the entire magnetic field of the earth surface so not only the receive of heat and all but this solar radiation also affects the entire magnetic field of the earth now the next is the types of radiation what is that types here we will learn the insulation and number 2 terrestrial radiation now what is insulation the amount of solar radiation that is received by the earth is known as insulation so here if the total solar energy or solar radiation is 200 billion then out of this only 1% or only one part the earth is generally getting okay so the insulation of earth that is 1% out of this 200 billions now here again the sun's energy reaches the earth as a short wave how generally sun's energy reaches to earth here another important question that can come in a objective yes it comes in a short wave right and when it radiates back to the space it forms the long wave now here out of the total 100% of solar energy if the total amount of solar energy is 100% then out of this 100% 51% reaches to the earth surface 35% it is radiated back to the space without doing any heating and all and then 14% this is absorbed by the earth so this 35% that is radiated back to the space this is known as albedo so another important question from here what is the amount of albedo you can write the an amount of albedo is 35% in some books it is written 34% never mind so we have learned so many things from this small part what is that the sun's energy it reaches to the earth as a short wave and when it radiates back to the space it forms the long wave again out of 200 billions only 1% of the solar energy the earth can get and what is the amount of albedo that is 35% done Now the next type is the terrestrial radiation. What is that? 
Now the solar radiation, okay, like the insulation, it strikes on the surface of the earth and then the surface of the earth radiates this heat back to the space. So here the sun ray it is coming, then it is radiates back after doing the heating and all to the space. So this entire process is known as terrestrial radiation. So what is the basic difference between insulation and terrestrial radiation? In insulation only the amount of heat will be received but here the heat or the energy will be radiated back also. In terrestrial radiation the energy will be radiated back also. Now here the important uh, information is when the energy is radiated back it will form the long waves. Okay. So here another important thing there exists a state of equilibrium of balance on the earth between the incoming insulation and outgoing terrestrial radiation. So the radiation or the heat that is coming to the surface of the earth and again it is radiating back both should be in a balanced form otherwise what will happen if more heat will come and less radiation or uh, reflection will take place then obviously the entire earth will be heat up okay now another important information from here like heat balance is a worldwide average balance okay it is a worldwide average balance and this balance is really required otherwise the earth will be more or, or it will be too much hot or too much cold okay and another important thing the low latitudes that is near the equator they generally get more solar radiation why so because we know sun gives the direct sunlight on the equator okay and the polar regions they generally get the less amount of solar radiation so this is all about the insulation and the terrestrial radiation this is really so important and the different and the objectives that I have mentioned that is also important for this part. So I hope you all have understood this and in this next class I am going to discuss the several factors that affecting the temperature of the earth. Till then thank you and take care.